switching back to English now because we have Jay Sun, co-founder and CEO of Echo Rica Corporation. How are you, Jay? Good. I'm fine. Thank you very much. No, thank you for uh, taking the time. And uh, well, I received uh, your uh, product, your new Echo scooter, uh, to do a little test drive. And again, like this is our the show is about cars, but this and this is not a car, but it's like a complement to the car. I mean, I already experienced a little bit of it, and we'll talk about it. But um, why don't you tell our audience a little bit about the the Echo Echo, please? Yes. So uh, our product is Echo Echo electric scooter. We, we designed it to be the perfect companion to your car and is the best last mile solution on the market right now. It is very eco-friendly, it's run on electricity instead of gasoline, and it's very efficient. One dollar electricity can move you 500 miles, or if you want to have use the MPG equivalent, it's 2,000 MPG equivalent. It's much better than any electric vehicle on the market. And it's portable, you can fold it and put it in anywhere you want, and it's smart, and all the indicator and all the information you need on the dashboard. So it's not a, your typical kick scooter that you grew up with, and it is a very serious, practical, and convenient urban transportation tool designed for adult and for the urban environment. So uh, how did the idea come to, to you about this uh, this product? Um, I mean, because there's like there's other scooters, there's like... I mean, some of that are go with gas and, and some other electrics, I think. I, I'm not sure, but uh, how did you come up with this? Yeah, so uh, the, it's funny. So when me and my the other co-founder uh, visiting some local events, we got stuck in the traffic for so long. And the, the event is only like a three miles away from our apartment. And after we arrive, and it's difficult to find parking. And we, we are thinking and encouraging ourselves, we might even arrive earlier if we just walk. And we saw the kid riding a scooter around and we figured, uh, both of us have engineering degree, and uh, we, we figured if we can pick up the scooter and put the latest technology in, it will probably be a very viable uh, transportation tool for a short distance. And of course, there are other companies that are using this kind of phone factor. Uh, some use uh, silver acid battery or some using gasoline. But we believe the battery type that we use, lithium ferrofosphide, phosphide and also the uh, motor configuration, hub motor, is the best option that is out there because a silicon acid or uh, other like lithium ion battery are not that good for environment. And gasoline is very, a uh, gasoline power scooter is very noisy, smelly, you need to work with a lot of uh, lubricants and maintenance is just a hassle. So what we are offering is similar to when Apple first introduced their iPhone to the market. So they are they are already some smartphone, internet phone before yeah. Apple. But Apple just put it in a complete convenient package so everybody can pick it up and don't worry about the technology behind it and just enjoy a very good user experience. Yeah, actually I have to admit, I I, I got the, the unit uh, a few days ago and uh, I already tried it. The recharge, uh, the battery was very simple, just like plug it into the wall and like in a couple hours it got like up to 80% of the battery. And then when you get on it, I mean, the, the speed is amazing in this thing, <laughs> up to like 20 miles an hour. Yes, yes. And, and we, we are, as I say, that we define this to solve the last mile solution. Sometimes people commute for a longer distance. And in a car, of course, you can listen to the radio. It's good that you can think about a lot of things. But some, sometimes people feel they want to be able to do actual work using a laptop or tablet to do some reading. So some people, they choose to use public transportation, maybe bus or train or metro, but it's not easy to go from your home to the station and from the uh, station to your office. Therefore, people still choose to drive. And that just put more uh, traffic, congestion, air pollution on the road, and the gas price is not cheap right nowadays. So what we want to offer is, you can use this scooter to go from your home to the, the public transportation station, and from after, then you just fold it up. Fold up the scooter and bring it on the train or metro with you, and once you arrive to the destination station, you ride it to your office. Yeah. So that way, 
that will make the commute more uh, feasible for anyone that choose not to drive a car. So with that, with a fully charged battery on the on the Echo Reco, what's the 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 range that you can get? Yeah, that that's a very good question, and that have, uh, that uh, hugely depends on the weight of the rider, the even the climate and the road condition going up down hill, and also the speed that you are riding at. So for a 170 pound uh, adult riding on the flat ground cruise around maybe 12, 30 miles per hour, the range is up to 20 miles uh, at a full charge. Yeah, so, so that's, that's for, yeah, as you were saying, that's more than enough. I, for example, uh, when I, I, tro I tried it, I took it from my house to actually, um, I live in Miami, and even though we don't have too much of a subway system, there's a train station <laughs> near my house. And it's like yeah, about yeah. half a, a, a mile and a half. So, I mean, it's too, mu too much to walk completely. So, yes, I mean, yes, yes. And, and, and it's perfect. And then when you arrive to the other end, you can like drive so, like another five, even miles and, and you're there. So, and again, the recharge is really easy, any outlet, right? Yeah, exactly. So uh, the, the charge, it takes both 110 and 220. So it, it works universal. And the range, we define it such that it is designed for to handle the short distance commute. So if you are going even go to a top speed, you still full charge, you still have like 10 miles at least, and that cover most your activity around your neighborhood or with your car. And one advantage of that is when you are, for example, going with your family, go to the beach, but the, the parking along the beach, along the car, sometimes it's very expensive. Or in your downtown financial district, the parking are very expensive. So you can put four or five of the scooters inside your, in the, in the trunk of your car. You can find somewhere that is, has some distance to your destination, just pop it out and ride a scooter to, to the beach or to your office. Save the tons on the parking and you enjoy the environment as well. Yeah. And because the scooter is very compact, so you can do that unlike a folding bike or other type of uh, personal vehicles. So, uh, Jay, um, so what are the prices? Because I, I, I understand you have two models, right? The M3 and the M5. What are the prices for these two models? Uh, exactly. So, uh, uh, regarding the price, because it's a motorized uh, vehicle and the electric bikes are selling more than 2,000, like sometimes even 4,000 or even more. What we are offering for the, the basic model, N3, is 999 US dollars. And for the N5, that has additional rear suspension that just gives you a much more comfort in the riding. Um, and the manufacturer's suggested price is $1,250. Excellent. So the Echo Reco, uh, the electric uh, scooter, and uh, this is Jay Sung, the co-founder of the company, Echo Record Corporation. Thank you very much for your time. We're going to keep enjoying uh, the Echo Record for a few days here in Miami, and then uh, I'll promise to send it back. <laughs> Thank you, Ed. Yeah, yeah, definitely visit our website, ecorecoscooter.com, B-C-O-R-E-C-O-S-C-O-O-T-R.com, and we are signing up a couple of dealers in in Florida, so definitely have a chance, find a chance to test ride, and you won't be disappointed. Excellent, and uh, but the people can just buy it on, from the website directly too, right? Yes, yes, we ship uh, across country and happy to do that. Excellent. And that's the way to support us too. Excellent. Thank you very much, Jay, and uh, I'll, I'll uh, report back to you when I'm done with, with the Echo Rec, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.